प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर ए डिक्टेशन ऑफ ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर टू एटी थ्री फ्रॉम सर कैलाश चंद्र मैगजीन फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्टी स्पीकर आई एम ग्लैड दैट डिफरेंट सेक्शन ऑफ द हाउस हैव स्टेटेड देयर व्यूज ऑन दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम आई एम ग्लैड दिस सब्जेक्ट हैज कम बिफोर दिस हाउस एंड ऑल्सो द अदर हाउस I can readily and immediately assure all sections of the house that the government is not only interested is not only sympathetic but is also anxious to take action in the matter I made that position very clear when the industrial disputes act was discussed in this house as well as in the other house I had stated clearly that the government was anxious to see how best it could bring the working journalists within the scope of the industrial disputes act in fact sir when the times of india workers case came before this house in the form of a short notice i immediately tried to do my best and tell the employers that whatever the definition be at the present moment about which we are carefully looking into the employers should give the same benefit to the working journalists though they do not come within the purview of the definition or though they are doubts there are doubts whether they come or not i am happy to say that the employers have agreed to my suggestion and they are trying to carry out the suggestion namely giving the advantage of the benefit to the working journalists also no doubt a case has been referred to by my honorable friend the mover of the resolution and i have made a promise on the floor of the house i made a promise to that gentleman who came and met me and immediately the government had written to the employers as to why this case was made an exception i hope i'll hear from the employers shri t n singh is a member of the press commission over which justice rajadhyaksha presides i have very great respect for the chairman because he was the adjudicator in many important disputes between the employers and the workers and his judgment was much appreciated by the workers and the employers i have anticipated the amendment moved by my honorable friend who desired that the press commission if it wants to go into this matter should inform us of its interim findings by the 15th of january at my request my honorable colleague dr keskar has already informed the commission of this dr keskar has also stated that it is my humble view that the industrial relations bill should come up and is expected to come up early and therefore we would like to have their view before the end of january that also we have made clear to the commission and i do hope that the chairman of the commission and the various gentlemen of the commission who are there will consider this request and will accede to the request made by me on behalf even of all the different sections of this house anyway in the last 3 or 4 months the working journalists have made a great headway by bringing forward their issues before both these honorable houses and i'm sure it is a great education to the employers another point has been placed before the house by my honorable friend mr t n singh and some others who said that there was victimization or fear of victimization if these working journalists appeared before the press commission and gave evidence i want to appeal to the employers knowing as they must the view of the government to protect the interest of the working journalists that they should take a democratic view of things and they should be pleased that their employers employees who are working journalists are given the right to appear before the press commission to express their views as much as the employers who desire to express their views in support of their contentions i therefore appeal to the employers not to become nervous not to become shy not to become angry with their employees because they would like to appear before the commission i want to appeal to them that they should on the other hand be pleased and happy that they employees are independent are prepared to express their views i am absolutely certain that the employers will take note of this fact that if really there are cases of victimization or there are going to be cases of victimization and if i am convinced 
that there has been victimization because they appeared before the commission i shall try to use my best office to see that victimization is not resorted to the resolution which my friend has brought forward is one year to my own heart and i can assure him that irrespective of the attitude i may have to adopt for practical reasons my sympathies are wholly with the resolution i have intimately known journalists ever since i started my own public career and i have had lifelong interest in the welfare of the working classes